Now, if like me, you have gone through the pain of reformatting the same book several times for all of these different platforms, you are going to absolutely love this next moment of incredible revelation. The fact that you can take one manuscript in Scrivener and output it just with a few simple tweaks for all of the different platforms, and you do not have to recreate your book um, to, to do so. It really is amazing. So we've output for Kindle. We've checked our Kindle version. We're very happy with that. And we know that we can safely upload that to um, into Amazon and be confident that it's going to look great. It's going to work great. The table of contents is going to be just as we want it, etc. Now, so here we are. And uh, now we want to output as an a dot epub which you can use on nook um, barnes and noble and the ibook store and so we're going to go up again and we're going to go compile and um, what we can do we can choose the our uh, ebook oh well let's go to my kindle ebook okay so that that's what we created earlier Okay, so we're going to my Kindle ebook, but what we're going to do is we're going to manage compile format presets and we're going to create a new preset and we're going to call this one my ePub ebook. Okay, and so we'll just save that one. And we're going to make a couple of changes into this new preset. We're going to obviously change Kindle ebook to ePub. Okay, and we see Kindle Gen disappears here. Um, we can go back into the compile presets and go update. Just make sure you've got the right one um, selected. And we want to save that. Okay, so we've now got a My EPUB ebook preset for future um, books. And you know something? You do not have to change anything else at all. You can simply go right here and you can go compile. Save your book with um, the name that you want. And again, Scrivener will go into the background and it will compile and create your book in a format that will be um, loved and embraced by um, Apple, iBook Store, Barnes & Noble, Nook, Kobo, you name it. These guys are going to find this EPUB um, file exactly what they're looking for. So we'll just let Scrivener do its thing. And then um, I'm going to show you a couple of places that you can go to that will allow you to check your um, newly created file um, and preview it just as we previewed our previous um, book that we created for Kindle. And so here is our EPUB file. Okay. Um, and there are a, a number of ways in which we can um, take a look at this to check that it's going to work okay for us. Okay, I'm going to show you different ones right now. Obviously, I'm on a, a Mac. Okay, so I'm on my MacBook. And um, I can just double click this and it will open this file in the iBook um, app. So we'll just let that open up. Okay, and here we are in my Scrivener tutorial. There we go. It's pulled the cover in as one would expect. And I can now um, look at my book in um, iBooks. and check that everything's working fine. Um, and uh, another way to do this, um, obviously, would be to, um, you could, if you've, say, for example, you've got a, 
an iPad. You could um, send this file to yourself um, via email and just open it up from the email. Um, you could drag it into iTunes um, and download it onto your device through iTunes. There are a number of ways that you can check it on your devices. Now, if you do not have um, a, a device that would read the EPUB, EPUB format, don't worry, there are ways that we can get around that where you can actually check that your file is okay. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to go to um, this website, validator.idpf.org, the International Digital Publishing Platform, okay? And this is going to, um, you can now uh, just choose your file. So let's go and choose our EPUB file. I've got it saved on my desktop here. And um, I'm going to choose that EPUB file and open it and then click validate. Now what this is going to do is basically just check that this um, file uh, lives up to all of the expectations of an EPUB. Um, so we know that when we upload it to the various platforms, um, it's not going to be rejected. Congratulations, no problems were found in Scrivener Tutorial EPUB. Hallelujah. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is go to um, adobe.com forward slash products forward slash digital editions dot html. Uh, I'm in the UK um, version of the site, but you don't you if you're in the States or elsewhere, this may not be the case. But the important thing is that you go to adobe.com forward slash products forward slash digital dash editions dot html. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to download this digital editions software. So if we just click download now, this is free software, by the way, this isn't something that you're going to have to pay for. And we download the appropriate version, whether it's for Windows or for Mac. Um, again, you're just going to have to do this once. You're not going to have to do it many times. So just um, install that on your computer. Now, as you can see, I've now got Adobe Digital Editions installed on my computer um, and up and running. And I can simply drag and drop my EPUB file into here and just open it, open it up um, and just have a quick look through just to check that I'm happy with how everything is looking. Now, I have found Adobe Digital Editions to be um, a little buggy, to say the least. So don't stress too much if, um, if it doesn't quite work the way you want. Um, the very best way to check that things are working well, like I say, is to be able to send it to um, a, an iPad or a, a Nook or a Kobo. And quite honestly, if you are um, planning on publishing a lot of different books to different platforms, it's definitely good to have some of these things, um, the, the actual um, devices themselves that you're able to look and just check things out on. So, um, but that's one way to do it if you've not got um, something that you can check an EPUB file on. Okay, thanks very much. Another way to um, check that your EPUB book is working as you expect, like I say, on a Mac, you can open it in the iBooks app. Okay, so that's very, very easy. Um, if you've got a, a device that reads EPUBs, you can load it onto that device and check it out on that particular device. Um, if none of those work for you, you can download the uh, Digital Editions app from Adobe, which we've just looked at. Um, it isn't exactly perfect, I know, but I mean, it does give you an idea. But, um, but then if you're on a PC um, and you've not got um, another option, you could actually go to the Barnes & Noble site at barnesandnoble.com forward slash u forward slash nook dash mobile dash apps forward slash 37900 3593. 
yeah and then you could come down and you can download the nook reading app for windows 8. once you've got that downloaded and running on your computer you'll be able to um, just open your epub file and check it out and take a look within that app uh, just another helpful way to check things out before you move ahead um, it is worth bearing in mind that most of the platforms um, do have some kind of uh, opportunity for you to check your file within the process of publishing it so you know for example on kindle you can actually look at it as part of the public publishing process um, and the same is true for some of these other platforms as well so great you've now created a perfect dot epub file ready for you to upload to barnes and noble um, ready for you to upload to the ibook store ready for you to upload to kobo uh, 